Are you a leader looking to set your organization apart? In this short course, Paul Robinson, the best-selling author of High Performance Leadership, is going to show you how to become a visionary leader. Discover the secrets of success from leaders who have achieved success in their field and learn how to develop the skills you need to be an effective leader. Learn to navigate change effectively, inspire people with vision, and make things happen for your organization. So don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize the way you lead. Visionary leadership is a leadership style that emphasizes creating and communicating a compelling vision of the future, inspiring and moving people to work towards that vision and taking bold actions to make the vision a reality. As a leader, you are challenged to think like a futurist and apply your imagination in the right direction. Visionary leaders are able to see beyond the current circumstances and anticipate future trends and opportunities, and they are able to articulate a clear and inspiring vision of what the future could be like. They are also skilled at communicating the vision to others in a way that inspires and motivates them to work towards that particular vision. So this leadership style can be particularly effective in situations where significant changes is required or where there is a need to create a new direction or a strategy for an organization. Vision inspires people. Charting a destination of what an organization is going to become or what they will achieve can make people ambitious. Vision creates a lot of positive energy. By human nature, most people want to be part of something bigger than themselves, and vision is the mechanism for leaders to package and transmit a bigger something. A compelling vision stirs people's imagination, lifts their spirits, and stimulates their thinking. Vision provides motivation, excitement, meaning, and purpose. A mind and heart stretching vision is like a turbocharger on a car. It increases the horsepower on demand. If your picture of the future is big, really big, hairy and audacious or hag, you will need every ounce of energy you can muster. Once you are able to channelize the energy, it can turn into passion at work. Vision also gives the leaders the confidence of who is with them and who is not with them. It's delusional to expect everyone to sing praises for your vision. Everyone in the team need not appreciate your vision. Some will come to it, some will like it, and some won't. The real litmus test is when you get honest feedback on the vision from your followers. It's also good to evaluate your vision. Asking questions like, is your vision practical? Or is it a pipe dream? Is it bold, mediocre, or is it the right thing to do? The truth of the matter is that bold vision will scare people. Don't be surprised if you articulate an audacious vision, some may choose not to go with you. That is pretty much natural. Vision means a clear direction. Vision is a mental picture of the future. It's an idea of what the future can hold, but it has not yet happened. We are all going to live in the future, and having a vision prepares us to create the future we want. As they say, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. And vision is the invention process. Through clear vision, a leader can share a dream and direction that other people want to share and follow. Vision is the clear direction that organizes people to move towards unison. The role of a leader is not just to give orders to subordinates. The role of a leader or the job of a leader is to provide direction and intent and allow others to figure out what they need to do and how to get there. Vision provides direction and without direction leaders can't lead. One key aspect of leadership is having that clear vision of the future and use the vision to inspire followers to accomplish that vision. Big dreams excites people because everyone wants to be part of something really big. But small dreams can't rally people together. Nobody gets excited about a 2% annual growth unless you're in a negative growth for some time. Vision aligns people towards a common outcome.
Visionary leaders have the ability to see opportunities and possibilities that others cannot see because they are focused on change and growth. Visionary leaders see the big picture. They see through the mist. They have clear clarity of that outcome. They challenge the status quo. They embrace the ideas. They are truly the masters of transformation. Vision means working towards something. If a day-to-day -day work is about a routine and routine means working on something, then vision is working towards something. Vision provides clarity about the future. Vision gives clear strategic direction and roadmaps. And vision can affect the day-to-day -day life of an organization. A vision acts as an aspiration. It's the articulation of how a business can add value to others in a way that it is distinctive. It defines the big picture and larger objectives. It's moving towards something. It's becoming something. And without vision, there is no direction. There is no purpose. And there is no need for leadership. Vision means our focus. The real purpose of the vision is to give people the focus they need apart from achieving something remarkable. Vision gives people the difference between doing major stuff and minor things. People will focus on the majors when vision is made clear to them. They can channelize their energy to work towards something worthwhile. Vision means focus. And focus means saying no. You need to say no to a few things to keep your focus on certain things. You have only a few priorities and your time is pretty much limited. You have got to focus on the majors. Three steps to visionary leadership. When it comes to becoming a visionary leader, there are three important things to consider. First, you must learn to develop the vision. Secondly, you need to articulate that vision. And thirdly, you need to turn that vision into a reality. You can call these the three-step process of visionary leadership. Step one, develop the vision or envision. This is like knowing where you want to go or who you want to become as an organization. Step two is like articulating that vision or communicating that vision to your followers and get everyone on the same page. The third step is turning the vision into reality or executing that vision. Now let's a little delve deeper on all these three steps to become a visionary leader. Step one is developing your vision. Unsuccessful leaders focus on survival. Average leader focus on maintenance. Successful leaders focus on conquering new heights. Great leaders are visionary leaders. They think big and they create a bold vision for their team. They ask two important questions. What is your vision for the company and what is your vision for the team? To develop a bold vision for your company, you need to engage in possibility thinking and futuristic thinking. You can't build a vision looking backwards. You build a vision looking forward. Remember the popular saying, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. Future is filled with possibilities. To be a possibility thinker, a leader must be open to new possibilities in the marketplace, open to new learnings and strategies, open to new relations and partnerships, open to new ways of doing things, and openness to encouraging people to pursue possibilities. The number one killer for possibility thinking is assumptions. If leaders follow narrow assumptions and prejudices, then they can't be open to anything. Assumptions shut down our minds, but possibilities open them up. Becoming curious or being curious and nimble is the key here. As Albert Einstein famously said, I have no special talents. I'm only passionately curious. He again reiterated saying that imagination is more powerful than knowledge. This means we need to rework on our God-given childlike curiosity. Curiosity opens up new possibilities. We need to think like a beginner and be curious like children. Think for a moment about how infants learn. 
they try new things. As soon as they can speak, they ask questions. Their mind is filled with wonder and a hunger to know things. So instead of being an expert in everything, become an expert and learner. Don't be that know-it-all person. Be that learn-it-all person. Use your imagination and ask that magical question that start with two simple words. What if? What if holds the key to the future? Major breakthroughs are the results of thinking with what if scenarios. What if computers could talk? What if the data is used for AIs to learn and develop its own intelligence? What if we could cook without fire? What if we could mine the asteroids? What if and what if? Another way you could develop your vision is to take a peek at the future. Where is your industry headed? What are the major trends that is shaping your business landscape? What is next for your business? What does the future hold for your business? What is the next evolution in your industry? Do you see convergence or divergence? Do you see a new niche developing as an industry trend? Now ask questions that improves your foresight and insight. One of the key characteristics of visionary leaders is their ability to anticipate future trends and developments. They are constantly scanning the horizon for new opportunities and threats and are able to adjust their strategies accordingly. They are also willing to take calculated risk and make bold moves to position their organizational success. One of the best ways to plan for the future is to think like futurists. In fact, one of the tools that futurists use to envision the future is scenario planning. Think of multiple possible scenarios to see your organizations in the future. There are several types of scenarios you need to consider here. The first is a set of possibilities, but not likely scenarios. The second is possibilities likely to happen. And the third is what you want to happen. Of course, you can come up with several possibilities and scenarios in each one of these buckets and you might find that the future might be a combination of the various possibilities you anticipate. And sometimes there are scenarios that you can't anticipate like the black swans. The point is to be prepared for all kinds of scenarios. Another way you can develop your vision is to think of big, hairy, audacious goals or b-hacks, which was developed by Jeep Collins in his book, uh, Good to Great. Or you can think of creating massive transformative purpose or MTP or moonshots developed by Salim Ismail and Peter Diamandis. So you can use these tools to develop a great vision. And once you develop your vision, you move to the next step, articulating your vision. Step two is communicating your vision. Having a great vision is a good thing, but if it is not communicated and well articulated to people, vision can simply stand on paper and collect dust. Often, a lot of vision statements remain on paper and less in action. Here, the leadership has neither the ability nor taken any action to communicate the vision to the rest of the group. As a result, employees have no idea where their organization is headed or where their career is going. If you have the most compelling vision in the world and cannot communicate it effectively, it's of little value. Many leaders fail in communicating vision to their people and some may even think that they communicated it because they have given a speech one time and everyone's supposed to understand it. Well, that's not true. You can't expect everyone to understand or mind your vision with one speech. When it comes to vision, it needs to be constantly spoken about, explained in simple terms, told us stories, made us inspirational speeches that will resonate with people at all times. It is the job of a leader to communicate that vision to their followers to gain a collective buy-in. 
Visionary leaders are able to communicate their vision in a way that inspires and motivates other people. They are skilled at storytelling and use metaphors and analogies to help people understand and connect with their vision. They create a sense of urgency and a shared purpose that motivates their team to work together towards a common goal. But before people buy into your vision, they must first buy into you. This is where leadership matters. Trusted leaders can get their vision across to people easily. Vision must become a heartfelt expression of a future status quo and not a fantasy pipe dream originated from a hallucinated head. You must breathe life into the vision. It must be well articulated and expressed continuously. A vision that is carefully developed and then rarely discussed is quite pointless. And don't expect everyone in your team to mind your vision also. There are people who support your efforts. There are also people who are undecided. And there are people who resist change. When you explain your vision, you need to tell them why you're having that vision. And what happens if you don't embrace that vision. Clarity is very important here. Also, people need to have that faith in you that you can easily pull off that vision. Obviously, everything will look great on a PPT or a PowerPoint presentation, but execution is what that really counts. Make every gathering and conversations around the vision as an opportunity to renew commitment. Develop a spirit of community within the team or within the company that believes in the vision. The more tangible people feel about that vision, the more people feel that it is achievable. Remember, the more tangible, it's believable, and hence it is achievable. Great leadership is the ability to inspire people and pass on the vision to their followers. When leaders achieve this task, they not only have clarity of what they're going to do, but also transform their entire employees into a group of entrepreneurs. It's also important to watch out for the naysayers who hate your gut, but likely to make an impact on the people who haven't made up their mind. Skeptics and pessimists can derail your followers from the vision. But the job of the visionary leader is to turn the vision of the organization to become the aspiration of the people. Vision must become everyone's aspirations. Use storytelling and metaphors to help people understand and connect with your vision. Make it a part of your company's culture and reinforce it in every aspect of your organization. Make it a part of every communication. Bottom line, communicate, communicate, communicate. Every experienced leader will reinforce the importance of communication. All good leaders communicate regularly and consistently. It's better to over-communicate than to under-communicate. Followers need to know what their leaders are thinking and doing. A failure to communicate will cripple any leader's ability to mobilize support from their followers. Thus, successful leaders live by the axiom, communicate, communicate, and communicate. The third step is turning your vision into reality. You need to execute the vision. Here, a leader acts like a conductor of the orchestra and uses the best of instruments and the best of talents to make the music together. To execute the vision, you need the help of people, systems and processes and all kinds of resources that comes in the way to use it for turning your vision into a reality. You can't achieve your vision alone. It's essential to surround yourself with talented people who share your passion and commitment to the vision. Invest in your team's development and empower them to take ownership of their work. The more people feel the ownership of the vision, the more they are driven to achieve it. And if you want to instill accountability and ownership among people, you also need to empower them with autonomy. Autonomy gives people the power to act. Without autonomy, people will be waiting for orders and timely actions may not take place. Empower your people. Give them the power to do things that will help them materialize the vision. You see, vision without action achieves nothing. So if you want to be a visionary leader, you have to actively keep the vision alive to action. Manage people less 
and manage vision more. Emphasize our vision, not supervision. Remember that. The easiest way to manage vision is to break the vision down into few priorities and break down each priority into goals. When you do that, every short-term goal becomes a milestone towards the attainment of that larger vision. Therefore, a leader has to take the vision and break it down into manageable number of key priorities, ideally not more than three to five. These priorities are the tasks that the organization needs to execute at a high level of quality in order to add value that is distinctive to the stakeholders they serve. Examples of top priorities might be like attract, retain, and develop key staff, build superb relationship with customers, innovate new products and services, invest in a world-class information technology, or manage inventory and analyze customer information and so on. Once priorities are established, you can implement the OKR model for execution. Now, OKR stands for Objectives and Key Results. OKRs are composed of two parts, a goal, which is called objective, and two to five key outcomes called key results, indicating that the goal was achieved. For each objective, you'll want to define the key results that you can use to determine whether you have met your objective or not. The key results for each objective should be easily quantifiable and measurable, but should also be achievable within the time frame that you decide on. Chunk down priorities using OKR model and manage your vision. Now, what does this mean to your leadership development? If you're a leader at the top, your job is to create the vision together. If you're a manager or a leader managing a team of people, then articulating or executing this vision is your key task. As a leader, your job is to communicate your vision to the team and then get them focused on the majors in not only achieving everyday outcomes, but also in guiding them to where they want to go. One important thing to remember is not to get caught up with everyday tasks. That, that you forget to work towards something. You forget to work towards your vision. Don't get caught up on dealing with yesterday's problems so much that you can't hardly focus on, on the important things that needs to be done today or you can't even focus on what tomorrow might bring. Visionary leaders always work towards something and they use vision as an inspiration so that followers can rely on their leader whom they can trust their future with.